Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about Chivalry 2 and Archery. And I thought maybe it was about time to teach you how to do Archery in Chivalry 2. Now we had a gameplay video a few days ago where we played the Archer or the Skirmisher with all the spears and we did pretty damn well. Now I thought it was about time that I would maybe show you guys or maybe give you some tips on how you could be a better Archer in Chivalry 2. Now yeah, I know the beta is ending soon and that is very unfortunate so... Hopefully, hopefully you can get something out of this video. But, at least if you don't, when Chivalry 2 comes live, you can come back to this video and be like, I now know how to be the best archer in the world. In the medieval world. Yeah. Alright, so the first thing we got here. When you start, you're only going to be able to be a bowman, and then you can be a crossbowman, and then you can become a skirmisher. Now, the skirmisher does the most damage, has the least amount of ammo, and the shortest range. The crossbowman is like a bit in-betweener. He does a lot of damage if you have good shots. He doesn't have a lot of ammo either. He reloads slower. While the bowman has a rapid fire. He has a lot of ammo and he has a decent distance but lower damage. Now, I would say that in my preference, I prefer the crossbow just because you are, you're a bit more able to deal with medieval knights and uh, the heavy, heavy people that are probably going to kill you up close. Like archers and uh, men at arms don't really scare me in a melee combat because it's a little bit easier to uh, whittle them down with less stamina. Because as an archer, you don't have much stamina to fight back. So you kind of want to utilize what you got to be able to kill enemy foot soldiers. So the best way to do this, in my opinion, is being the crossbowman. However, if you do want to be a normal bowman, the easiest way to think about how to fire your arrows, and it's kind of the same with the crossbow, while you are tracking your target to shoot them, you want to lead a little bit in front of them, not too much, but a little bit, depending on the distance, of course. But as you have clicked to fire, or you have engaged your bow or crossbow to shoot, you have to keep tracking your target. Don't just stop tracking as if, like, the arrow is now going in where you have you know, aimed for. It's a slight delay between you clicking to fire and it actually shooting. It's not a big delay, it's just a small delay, so you gotta keep on your toes, so you gotta be, you know, keeping your eyes open so you can see when things are happening and where your arrows are going. I have noticed, however, that sometimes it does feel like the arrow doesn't come from the crossbow or the bow or the hand you're tossing from it, so it comes like from behind you slightly. I mean, it sounds a bit weird, but there have been some situations, if you watched that gameplay video with the skirmisher I had, I toss a spear against an enemy, there's nobody in front of me, but then I get a team hit, and then I turn around and the guy has a spear in his head, like one of my one of my teammates, and I don't even know how that happened. So I think all that's gotta happen there in the game is that hopefully they move where the projectile is spawned from, from your character, so you don't accidentally shoot your teammates, um, because they're just standing a little bit too close to you on your left or right side. But they probably already know about this issue, I would imagine. So, being an archer, it's not that hard. It's all about timing, precision, and your aim. Now, the other thing that is also important to think about is that your archers also have special abilities. Now, if you are the normal bowman, you get a brazier with a fire thingy, so you can light your arrows on fire and deal a little bit of extra damage on targets, which is very good for the bowman. He doesn't do much damage anyways normally unless you get headshots and if you get headshots with the fire arrow that's going to be almost a guaranteed kill almost a guaranteed kill if you're playing the crossbowman you get a banner that heals in an aoe an area of effect which is very efficient if you're trying to hold a location and your teammates are dying however you can be a little bit cheeky with where you place these banners so i would highly recommend that you find some cheeky places that you can place it so enemies don't see them but they still have an effect like in this scenario here, I put the banner at the bottom of the tower, but it still heals all the people standing out the top of the wall fighting, which is really efficient. The skirmisher's ability is to be able to rearm himself with ammo, wherever he is. He doesn't have to go to a rearmament box. So usually what I like to do with a skirmisher sometimes is that I actually pick up a bow or something else, and you can be a bit more aggressive with your bow play. A little uh, bow play? It would be, <laughs> you can be a bit more aggressive with your archery. And you can go in to be in different positions where there aren't any ammo boxes around. Because you can just replenish yourself, which is great. But also you gotta remember that being an archer doesn't mean that you just get to fire arrows. You also gotta be semi-decent at melee combat in the way of if you want to survive and get out of the situation and get back to firing arrows, you want to have a decent understanding of the combat system. To try to at least scare them off or get distance or get behind your team again. Playing an archer, you're kind of the support role. You're either 
there to damage opponents of your teammates so they can kill them easier or you're there to save them from an opponent that is beating them so it's kind of like a balanced thing sometimes taking shots with a bow can be hard because you have so many teammates in front of you and at that point i'd recommend just try not to fire too rapidly try to be rather on the safe side with this stuff however what you can try to do if there's a lot of teammates in front of you try to find some high ground or try to flank a little bit around be aware though because people will run straight for you if they see an archer standing in the open they'll be like <gasps> oh hello there archer free kill they'll think you're a free kill and go straight for you we'll talk a little bit about melee combat in an upcoming video about how you can be even more efficient in the melee combat i feel like i have got my hands slightly around how it works and how things work good and how they work bad in your favor now in general being an archer is very fun and it can provide very satisfying gameplay and not just satisfying gameplay sometimes you can feel like oh man it's really you can feel like robin hood or something like that. like you can feel like you're really on your tip of the toes the cinematic superhero guy killing everybody with your bows and arrows so if you haven't tried archery in chivalry 2 yet i would highly recommend you trying just remember that you don't want to shoot your teammates it's not nice try to shoot your enemies and if you can just keep leading your shots sometimes it's a little bit difficult to hit your shots with a bowman i would recommend if you're up close do not do the focus where you zoom in just fire from like you know zoomed out perspective kind of thing because then it's easier to gauge your shots if you zoom in you get a different perspective and gauging how fast your arrows are going can sometimes be hard However, I would recommend you using the focus thing on the bowman if you're shooting at targets far away. That's when you kind of want that little bit of a zoomed in perspective to see where they're going and a little bit of more detail about how they look like, you know, maybe you maybe you want to make sure that that person gets an arrow. Anyways, hopefully this video was useful to you and your bow skills. If it was, leave me that like down below if, if you think I deserve it. And also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because if you subscribe, you're an amazing, cool person. And if you ring the bell, you're even amazinger and cooler than an amazing, cool person. So until then, everybody, have a nice day. I've been the Turtle. And in the next video, we're probably going to have another nice, nice time together. Until then, enjoy the rest of the Chivalry 2 Close Beta. Bye-bye.